Luffy, of course, also a Rose Loyalist, stuck with her uh, through sort of good times and bad on her trips through the tier list. A lot of respect to both of these players' approach, but very different kind of thinking about the game. Snake Eyes has been absolutely crushing dreams, ignoring the tier list and bullying his way forward to try and return to the waiting Pluto. Winner of Pluto and Boncha, who will it be? And that standing roundhouse from Rose. Okay. Snake Eyes shown early. Yeah, the green hand. Surprising. Both of these players have been doing extremely well in this top eight so far, but one of them has to go home now. Here comes Zangief trying to get in, but Luffy, he's been playing so smart here. Snake Eyes definitely has an uphill battle. Oh. Now Snake Eyes does get to play against Filipino Man a lot, so he has a lot of Rose practice, but Luffy is a Rose unto himself. He is in a category all by himself. And there's that back dash. Get out of jail free card. But, of course, Snake Eyes a specialist in chasing down. We see Duke Mel Luffy, who does usually play the Ultra 2 orbs that we talked about, of course going with Ultra 1, which is extremely strong against Zangief in particular. Yep, she can throw out the Ultra 1 even while her fireball's on screen, so if Zangief jumps over it, it's a pure anti-air. Oh, beautiful slide to get right in And all combos. And using wow. the super just to take that round again. Rose, not a character who's reliant on her meters, and she's willing to spend it like that when Combo she needs to. Stuff. Yeah, very cool stuff. She knows she can get it back. Ooh, wow! Very, very gutsy and slick from Luffy. <laughs> oh, again, such a slippery character. Good blocks. Snake Eyes looking to solve this equation with oh, another back. Wow, just can't backdashes even, again. Can't even chase down the backdash. Like I said, Rose's backdash so fast so far. Oh, double roundhouses. Snake Eyes on phase, but Luffy not willing to play possum. He's waking up swinging in all these circumstances. Not able to get let Snake Eyes get his game going. Right. Chasing down, going for the regular throw instead of an SPD just for that reason, so it can't be as easily punished. Here we go, what's it gonna be? Oh, he burns oh. the meter to escape. Oh, bold stuff there from Luffy. I like it, I like the spice in his play right now. Even in situations where he should be defensive, sometimes he's waking up swinging. Oh, oh there it was! All those other times that he dashed forward yes. in the throw, this time he dashed forward and saved it by the end of the round when it would be give him the kill. That was so smart. He got paid off by setting up an expectation in the mind of his opponent and then going in a different direction after setting up the same scenario yet again. Brilliant stuff, Luffy. Taking game one in a convincing fashion. Snake Eyes studying there. Tends to block, and as Luffy approaches, he'll throw out some jabs and get some good, solid tech. Luffy taking the challenge, going in for significantly more offense than previously. Okay. Brief opportunity for Snake Eyes. Oh, that's going to be something. All right. Wow. Trying to push her into the corner little by little. There it is. Not no, fast enough. Slow. Oh, and chases her down, catches her in the corner. She's lost a lot, one of her major weapons in this fight. Oh, snuff the crouching fears. And smart for Snake Eyes not even to use the EX version. That Knew time. that the, 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 the light one would just kill. Luffy knows he let one slip away from him there. A little bit of a sour face on, as is appropriate. A lot of passion in these players. Every single time I see one of these players eliminated, it just makes me that much more sad, but There's also a, more excited for the player that moves on. Yeah, there is an absolute reason uh, in every of the EVO finals we've seen here today, there have been tears coming out from uh, grown men <laughs> crying in every situation. There's a reason why. The passion is real. This whole year has been full of tears from everybody winning their games. The emotions have been running high here at Evolution. No doubt everything will be the same at the end of this day, but we still have a long road for all these players. Snake Eyes looking so strong now. 
Has he figured out Luffy? Okay, okay, Luffy was creating some opportunities. What's it gonna be? He goes into his own nothing to see if he can get Snake Eyes to overcommit. Snake Eyes not taking the bait. Snake Eyes so smart with the life advantage. So if you wanna play this sort of like slow down poking game, fine. But now I've got the life advantage, man. You can't, you can't pull that. Yeah, that forward dash, the, the forward dash and the stand forward has not worked on Snake Eyes since that last round ender. You see how quickly, oh, did what? he catch a back dash? No. Snake Eyes is like, I don't back dash. People back dash against me. <laughs> I'm gonna stand here and just wake up like a man. One v one, and you can see the concern on Luffy's face. Yeah. He's wondering what happened. That it was just, a big shakeup. Yeah, it just went from my pure domination in that first game to Snake Eyes winning two rounds in a row like that. So he's trying to figure out, and there's that head tilt. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've, we've called that out. And, oh no. And for a man who might have been a little concerned before, he's going to be even more concerned now. Okay, okay, back on his feet here. Good stuff. Resist that initial wave of aggression from Snake Eyes. Smelling he had the mental advantage. Wow. Yeah, that works like it's supposed to now because it's so much faster. And even then, it's... Oh, we got him! Oh, my God! That was crazy rage. Look at... Snake Eyes doing the classic Zangief thing that Snake Eyes virtually never does. It's just pulling his way in there. Well, we talked about how Luffy is not scared to use meter. The one thing that I'm learning about Snake Eyes in this top eight is this man is not afraid to burn meter even when he's about to lose. Oh, we got him. Beautiful stuff. Not caught enough to kill. And Luffy oh. steals back that round. That was all Snake Eyes. Great, great stuff for him the whole way. And Luffy pulled it back, refused to say die. Very impressive stuff from the Frenchman. Beautiful clutch and execution on that FADC combo. Oh, counter hit? So it knocked him down or did Ooh. he jump? I'm not sure. And now he's on his back after another throw. Gets him low. Complete oh. up all again. But smart for Luffy says you chase one back dash down. I, my bet is you're not chasing both of them down. Gets away after the second time. And Luffy probably wishing he had that ultra too just to get his feet back. But now, oh no. Oh, the snake and eyes. That, that is so ridiculous because he's still out of range after that low forward, but he's sticking out a move to counter it and then getting Vortex sucked in by that pile driver. Unbelievably smart, next level stuff from Snake Eyes. And again, the key is that he doesn't use it a lot. You no. cannot keep using it because then it becomes an obvious tactic. He saves it for those moments that he really needs to get in. Oh, when he has a read that the opponent is just playing that footsie game, the no button touching game. And that's what gets me to the point about why I would call Snake Eyes a quote unquote beautiful player. So there are things that you can reuse over and over again. Some of the Kami knockdown setups, the Akuma Vortex tricks. People sometimes get disappointed by those. Zangief, you have to make the smart read every time. Luffy here answering back. It's being forced to make those great decisions all the time and not having an autopilot kind of move to fall back on that creates beautiful play. And Snake Eyes is all about it. Yeah, but I don't want to be a too unfair here to Luffy. He's been playing very beautifully. Oh, himself. no! Great, great stuff. escape, but not going to be able to land an ultra smart. Luffy knows that. Not yeah. going to waste the ultra and get it blocked. Oh! The start is too slow. But and Luffy's this. still with a life lead here. All right, so that's a throw tech. So we might be setting up a forward dash into stand forward again. We saw that before. That's how he won around. And this match would be critical game two, putting the opponent on match point, or uh, yeah, on elimination point. Both men really, really want this. Yeah. Oh! Finally! Luffy finds the counter to that low forward shenanigan from Snake Eyes. I like the aggression. Again. Guys, smart tech. Oh, a big boot to the head again. But again that oh, heels in your face. What's he got? Oh. Snake Eyes. Luffy is calling the tune. Oh, beautiful the back farm. dash. Beautiful back dash from Luffy. As soon as he saw Zangief moving in, he just ran back. And now Luffy up two games to one, putting an entire continent on his back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, some sort of maybe a little kung fu kind of move there. <laughs> I don't know, probably just cracking his knuckles. Yeah, cracking his neck. He did have a certain seriousness cracking about the neck. knuckle crack, at least. And obviously, able to take back game two after really strong, or excuse me, game three, but really strong stuff from the snake eyes in game two. And a tough opening round as well. So a lot of mental composure here from Luffy. Very impressive stuff. Oh, Snake Eye says, I'm not going anywhere just yet. Oh, great counter from Luffy again. Uh-oh. That's 
gonna be the punish. Oh, Snake Eyes, maybe what? Oh, he's going in. Wow. <laughs> not, not responding what? fast enough. Oh, and he's still going in. Unbelievable switch in style here from Snake Eyes. The great stuff from Loopy to tech that throw. Wow, he got him. He got him. This Amazing back kill. Yes, it's going to be enough. <laughs> wow. Even Snake Eyes had to look over and be like, okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I know you're on the verge of now eliminating me from uh, the largest tournament of all time. and Something that's hugely personally important to me, but... Cool stuff, bro. Ooh. Hopefully, he can still find that hunger in his belly and not be swallowed by respect for his opponent here. Luffy playing very free. Okay, smart, smart from Snake Eyes. Gets him low. Remember, he had a great round last round, and Luffy still managed to pull it out. So let's see if Luffy can make the comeback here. Obviously off to a very strong... Okay, it's that roundhouse shenanigan that really let Luffy establish the pace in the round he stole from Snake Eyes. Okay, and a counter to that low forward counter to the roundhouse. A lot of metagames going on here. Looking for that jump, and he doesn't want to jump. But Rose has that fully powered ultra. Oh, finally got the whip punish in there. Snake Eyes staving off elimination. Able to resist. Just a little bit. Yeah, lots of bad habits. Snake Eyes needs this round to stay in the tournament, still match point Luffy. Okay, spending all of his meter though. Luffy still with a lot oh, of meter. Got him again. Luffy resetting. Oh, got him on the forward dash. Oh! Conserving meter, not gonna go with the EX green hands. Luffy. Okay, there you go. Oh! What a hit confirming the super! Answering back in a big way. Getting Finding out of the corner. Screen. Yes. Critical, critical. Nice recovery by Luffy. Mentally recovered. Finding his pace. Closing that damage gap. Make it take oh, work. Luffy. Oh, did he get him there? Nice a block in time. It is a slow. And the crowd on its feet and cheering for Snake Eyes. Struggling to stay in that zone. The long exhale. He has even it up with Luffy. Two games apiece. Next game is going to send one of these fantastic players home. Who will it be? America or France moving forward? They're chasing the back dash once again. This time, Nana, but that was. A oh! Oh, he could have comboed off of that. That's a new buff that Zangief got. That close board can be linked off him. What? Oh. Walking into the fireball. Fearless. Snake Eyes needs that other meter. Just got it. Luffy looking for the knockdown, set up the fireball and dash in shenanigan game. Not going with the standing roundhouses now. There we go. Ooh. Snake Eyes showing a little bit more aggression than we usually see with a life lead like this. Oh, he tried to bait out the green hand. Yeah, looking for that big punish. He's got enough meter to do it again. Luffy does do it again. Snake Eyes stands firm. Now Luffy without the meter. What? Get oh! And now Snake Eyes is at match point. It is game point Snake Eyes. And look at that look on Luffy's point, face. Luffy not, he wants to go back to the select screen. No time for that. <laughs> oh, wow. Snake Eyes got a lot of information there. Got away with that jump in. Did not get challenged by Crouching Fierce or anything else. Oh, Luffy, oh very risky stuff. Oh, great challenge by Luffy. Yeah, he is not going down without a fight. He's not going to sit there and get a pile drive. He is swinging at everything that Snake Eyes has, and that's going to get punished. And again, Snake Eyes on tilt here says, I got a round to give, and I'm going to go crazy. This is risky stuff. He doesn't have a lot of rounds to give. And now he's put himself in a very difficult position, both in terms of meter. Again, landing on the fireball, uncharacteristic. Ooh, okay, and we are down to the final round. And Snake Eyes knows he threw that one away. Let's see if he can mentally recover. Who is it going to be? An incredible match going right down to the wire for these two fantastic players. Oh, Snake Eyes with a padded combo. Pushing in, oh. Oh, that's oh, punishable, but he gets away. Yeah. 
But now he's got to watch out. Rose has a super and an ultra available. So if she throws a fireball, Zanke can no longer jump. Oh, ooh, he's stopped. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And Luffy still showing a lot of pep here. Not willing to play dead. Focus down forward to get through that fireball again. Trying to bait something. Oh, oh beautiful from Luffy. Zanke swipe. Oh, that's... I, I, oh, what? what? He's traded with it. What? That is a mind blower. Let's see if it puts Luffy on his heels, literally and figuratively. She does have nice heels, but this is match point. This is it. Slight life into advantage to Zangi. As he hunts down his prey. Snake guys can't feel great about that. They can't feel too good about that because Luffy still just a tiny chunk away. Here we go. She's Look got at this. Super again. And the life is now even. I think Luffy with a slight life lead. Actually, it's really hard to tell. Still finding that standing roundhouse pressure. And Snake Eyes doesn't want to bite. Wow, getting swept again. And now eating the fireball. That's going to put him on his heels in danger zone. For Snake Eyes, get boot to the head again. Oh, that's an opportunity. Luffy dancing away. Oh, that's a throw. That's a hard throw. Luffy has taken out Snake Eyes. Europe is going to continue forward here in this tournament. The guts on that guy. Sending Snake Eyes home. The guts and the crowd giving it up for Snake Eyes. Gotta love his performance. Doing what we thought was the impossible. That is gonna be the end for the last American hope. But this crowd, as we've seen, one of my favorite things about the Evolution crowd in the world. I was discussing this earlier with Dylan from NYU. We don't cheer for nationalities. We do, to a point, but awesome always wins. Yes. You see something amazing.